So much for each one that is here and what they've uh, uh, met in their life and, and uh, how they've uh, helped shape uh, them. And Father, I just pray that you'll uh, give us a great celebration tonight. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 Congratulations, you wonderful couple. To all the girls I love before. And that's dedicated to the one more couple. I am Margot Brown, and this is Jessica Berry, my girlfriend. We are from Nashville, Tennessee. She's real pretty and fun. And, um, so this is for Stephen and Kelly. Right? Stephen, I love you, man. You know that. And I hope you guys have an awesome marriage. And uh, yeah, hope you guys stay happy and uh, healthy. Uh, I'm Daniel Jowers, I'm uh, Kelly's brother, and uh, I just want to wish uh, Kelly and Stephen uh, a happy life together. Hey, it's our boy Steve. You know the way, so good luck and uh, uh, have a happy and long relationship till death do us apart. <laughs> That's my belief. So. Like the weekend. To Kelly and Steven? Yeah. <laughs> say anything if I don't want to? No, say something. Hey, Kelly and Steven. I'm so happy you guys are getting married. Um, I wish you guys the best and I hope you have fun in Mexico. Hey, Steven and Kelly, it's Travis. And it's definitely uh, proud of you both. And definitely uh, encouraged by your relationship and look forward to seeing how much of your lives. We love you guys. And have a great time. Have a lot of fun. And Megan, hey guys, I want to tell you that I'm so excited for you. You guys are perfect for each other. I love you so much. You're both my best friends. And I can't wait to see where God takes you, um, where he takes all of us. And I know our kids are going to be friends. So I love you guys a lot. Talk to you later. Time, but we wanted to use tonight uh, to really have an opportunity to encourage our couple, our groom and our bride. And so in the meantime, if you can go ahead and start pouring some cups of the uh, sparkling cider there. Don't drink them yet because we're going to have some toast from the fathers here in a little bit, but you can go ahead and get them ready. But what we're going to do is just open up this time for anyone who'd like to share something uh, for a groom or a bride or both, uh, just to encourage them about their new journey together. And so just if you'd like to share something, just stand up. That will be our cue that you'll be the one speaking. And just share briefly because uh, we do want to make sure everyone has an opportunity to share. So I've known you for forever. And, you know, I, the big, one of the biggest things I remember about me and you is that we, we get together and we always, you know, love hanging out and stuff. But then by the end of the weekend or whenever we were hanging out, we'd be at each other's throats. You know, and we'd be wanting to kill each other because we're both real stubborn. Um, <laughs> But so, you know, Kelly, when you guys get into fights, because it's going to happen, um, <laughs> just just know that regardless of how mad he gets, whatever he says, that, you know, he's always going to want to come back and love you, you know? And that there's there's really no end that he, when he's committed to you, he's committed to you. So, I love you guys. I love you, Steven. And I know you guys are going to have a great life together. <laughs> These guys make, I, I haven't seen a better couple. They're like, they fit like a glove. Right. They're a great couple. He loves her so much. So, can't wait till tomorrow. I don't even want to try because I'm doing it. And I'm doing this time too. So, I love you guys. Thank you. Aww. 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 Truth wins out. 
love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. That's from the New, uh, New Living Translation. But I really, I think the, the part that I really, uh, really want to just give to you guys is where it says that love never gives up. God never gives up on us, and we should never give up on each other. Amen. You know, it never loses faith. You know, it took faith for you to find, you know, to find God. It, 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 God brought you Kelly. Kelly, you know, God brought you Stephen. It's always hopeful. You know, you guys have been hoping for this day for a long time, and it's almost here. <laughs> And it also endures through every circumstance. You know, your, your soon-to-be mother-in-law was confessing about, you know, your fights. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from it. But, you know, through every circumstance, Kelly and Stephen, you know, whatever whatever comes your way, it's not always going to be a storm. It's not always going to be a sunny day. But whatever it is, God's going to meet you where you're at. So congratulations to you both. I really uh, pray for many years of what this scripture says to both of you guys. And I'm really proud of you guys for the way you dated to set an example to younger people that you can date God's way and it can work. Amen. So I'm proud of you guys. Amen. Amen. All right. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just want to say something real quick. Because I knew both of y'all before y'all. Hey, man, come on. <laughs> I knew both of y'all before y'all started dating. And uh, I don't know, Stephen, I really got close to you a couple of like, uh, just before I went off to college. You've always been kind of that that brother that I've always really wanted, and you're just very easy to talk to. And, uh, so I just wanted to say that, and just that I love you both. And I was really excited when you told me that you asked her out to be your, be your wife and stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited that you two are gonna get married. And, and uh, so I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> But uh, again, the pre-marriage counseling was truly fun for us because uh, you got to know another part of our lives that we didn't get to share with you in the teen ministry, and, and that's been fun. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, part of it, though, really is credit to the family that you came from. And I know I don't know if they shared it with you, but the assessment that they take for the pre-marriage counseling has a thing called family of origin, and you guys had perfect families. Like, you guys had the best ranking that you could have, you know. But I really do think that's a credit to the foundation that you have. And I'm just looking forward to seeing both those origins now coming together to create your own family. And it's just going to be exciting to see that. But I love you guys both. And thanks so much for allowing me to have the best seat in the house. To see you guys look at each other and not pay attention to me at all. Just repeat after me as long as you pay attention. <laughs> well, I'll share. Uh, I got to share with Stephen a little bit the other night. Um, but uh, again, Stephen, I do love you. And, uh, I, I'd like to take a, a, a chance to share about Kelly as well, though. And um, I remember in high school going to a prom with Kelly. <laughs> and I remember her dad asking me over to dinner. And I remember thinking he was the most intimidating man on the face of the planet. And uh, mostly, mostly because of the, of the beard. <laughs> the survivor man beard. 
And, um, but anyway, uh, Kelly, I, I, uh, I do enjoy uh, your friendship um, and um, do enjoy seeing you. I am definitely happy with both of you. Amen. <laughs> Steven, how many times you heard me calling you Steven? Twice. <laughs> Twice. In a long, in a, as long as I know you, huh? Yeah. So what is your uh, other name that I call you? <laughs> Little Cowboy. Cowboy. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the original cowboy uh, for the Santella memory. And, uh, I just, uh, just want to say to both of you that you uh, uh, make a beautiful couple. And he, you will be my grandson, of course. I'm a little, maybe a little prejudiced. And uh, uh, Kelly too. Uh, she's a beautiful girl. You got a uh, you got a good uh, choice there. Uh, as far as uh, uh, what uh, uh, the gentleman here talking, what was your name? Derek. Derek. Okay, the, the minister, right? Uh, the one going to uh, ask you to say I do. Okay. <laughs> as far as what he say. Uh, I, I give a lot of credit on your uh, type of dating that you went through through your courtship to the parents. Mm -hmm. I think you got a wonderful model of parents yeah. that uh, I wish United States, the whole world, yeah. would have that, those type of parents that you do, both of you have. Right. So um, I give the glory and uh, 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 what should I say, credit to God and to your parents for uh, such a beautiful dating that you had. I uh, hope that you will have a beautiful <coughs> life, and I wish you many years. You know what do you want to be saying until that do us apart. That's Amen. my belief. Amen. I lost my wife uh, six years ago, a couple of weeks, uh, last week, six years ago that she left, and it was until that did us apart. We were uh, teenagers when we got married. Yeah. And uh, uh, the Lord took her home. Here alone, but I know that uh, I, I'd say that I, in the, for that case, I'd say the same words that David said. She can't come to me, but I can go to her. Okay. Okay. So you let us apart and wish you well your entire life. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. happy for you. Uh, he's happy to be with you. <laughs> he's, uh, you know, and I, I know he's going to take care of you, and I ask you to definitely take care of Stephen. Um, so, I'm proud, I'm proud of both of you. <laughs> Kelly's uh, getting one of my best friends. Oh, I couldn't ask for a better time. I'm not going to be able to talk. <laughs> but, uh, I got to share about Stephen at the uh, groom honoring, but I, I want to share about Kelly too. All right, come on, Dory. Her parents have done a great job. I'm so thankful that you gave my son a pure wife. And uh, I'm so proud of them and how they dated and how they've been pure. They always call us and say, are you going to be home because we don't want to be home alone? And uh, Sherry says, we'd rather go home and, <laughs> and mess up our plans so that uh, so that they don't have to be alone and be, you know, struggling. So anyway, I'm so thankful for this day. And uh, I'm so, uh, so glad to be getting a daughter. Camera's all shaking. <laughs> well, I want to share. That's what Kelly to start the bridesmaid side now. Um, I love you so much, Kelly. 
And um, it, like, as, whenever I think about you, I, I think of that scripture in Psalm that says, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. That's like every single girl's like theme scripture for your whole teenage experience <laughs> until this very day, you know, like, or tomorrow, that, you know, you've delighted yourself in the Lord and he is giving you the desire of your heart. That is so cool. Amen. And I, I just look up to you so much. I think your guys' relationship has just been a model of, of purity, of um, just integrity, and respect for each other, and love for each other, and a commitment to getting advice. And that uh, that's why it's worked. That's why all the pieces have fallen into place the way they have. And um, I'm just so proud of both of you. Stephen, you've really grown into the kind of man that Kelly needs to stand by the rest of her life. And I, I know that you're going to take care of her through whatever challenges you guys face, through children, through not children, through houses and cars and dogs and whatever you have the rest of your life. But you guys are going to be a great team. You already are a great team. And um, you know, your families love you very, very much. And we all love you very, very much. And it is such a pleasure and an honor to be here to share this. You know, not a lot of issues, not a lot of, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. You can thank your parents for that. You know I mean? not, it, it, it's good to, to be a part in that ministry with you guys for the time that we were able to serve there. Uh, y'all's example is, is great. Um, I just, uh, and that's another reason it's, you know, campus leaders, you know, dream is to have that kind of dating relationship. But uh, my cha- I challenge you guys really to take what you've, what you've done and all the blessings that each side of your family has done and everybody around you has instilled into you guys and invested into you guys and invest that into somebody else. Mm-hmm. Find another couple or find another ministry that you guys can really plug yourselves into and just help them to grow and blossom. Another young teen couple that's got the same starry eyed look at you guys look at each other different things like that but instill that don't don't become a, a couple that just kind of fades away but be that couple that is going to go and share everything all these people and everybody else has given you and instilled in you guys uh to pass it on to the next generation your children and, and uh, even with our child i'm looking fired up you guys studied the bible with our baby you know what i mean so, so i love both of you a whole lot and if you guys need anything you guys know Jess and I are here for you all the time. So, thank you. You can only get up once. I know. I've been looking at one shot one time. <laughs> well, um, he said a lot of good stuff, but um, pretty much did all what he said. And um, yeah, it, it, for the time that we were able to um, have the privilege to serve in the campus, you guys were really a dream. So, um, you guys are, are very humble, you're open to advice, you want to get advice, you actually listen to the advice that's given to you, um, but you've always, um, and I know this is one of the things that, that, that we've always shared with you guys, you've always made sure that it's also your own conviction, that you're not doing it just because other people are telling you to. Um, and even just, you know, now that you guys are getting married and everything, just continue to do that. Um, that you you are able to get your own conviction based on the word and of course the people that are you know helping you that, that are around you but always make sure you know you guys have couples in your lives that you can go to and, and you have a lot of people too so um, I'm really really happy for you guys and um, I remember I think I, a while back I remember asking Joseph I'm like is he ever going to propose to her <laughs> and uh, now we're here and it seems such a long time ago um, I remember going to one of the bridal shows with Kelly and it was like people were asking us when the wedding was it was like months away but now it's just like it's here so it's really exciting and I'm really glad to be able to to be here to see you guys you know get married and everything so and like you said we're always here for you guys love you
Thank you. Amen. I'm Kelly's grandmother. I'm Nana. And I just want to tell you that I, I'm so proud of you and, and Stephen. So happy for you two. And we have been married, Papa and I, have been married for 55 years. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you can make it too. That's right. And I've always said that when we got married, there was three of us. There was Nana and Papa and God. Right. We took that and and I waited for him to and he will not be uh, sorry for that. And we had three children. Uh, Jeff is uh, our uh, son too. And so I'm just hoping that you will uh, always be true to each other, that you will always be happy. And yes, even when you're angry, <laughs> you will the shy away from each other for a little while, but you'll always come back to each other. Right. And so just keep God with you in your life. And I just, so I hear all of you talking about the times that you've had. And I know I'm not supposed to be envious, <laughs> but I'm sorry that we have lived so far apart for all of these years and that we haven't had more time to be with you. But I do treasure the times that we were together and that you all, you all get this together and you all came to the house and, and, and all. I do treasure that for, for all of you. And so I just, God bless you. And I treasure, have you a granddaughter like you are. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> okay, well, Stephen, I got a chance to share about you individually with Dream Water a little bit. Um, tonight I want to share about how you guys have kind of set an example for me. Um, we started dating uh, before I started dating. And, uh, you know, growing up, we've had a lot of friends that have had a lot of dating relationships, and they've all turned out differently. <laughs> I just uh, really appreciate you guys being in my life to set the example um, on how to do it. Plug out first, use each other to seek first the kingdom and serve other people. Um, you know, and and just be kind of consistent in your dating relationship throughout. Um, you know, I'm sure there's been highs and lows, but you guys have been uh, steady and faithful to each other. And you guys are a great example for me, and so I, uh, I love you. I'm looking forward to being uh, married together here. Uh, pretty quickly here, and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing, uh, going on lots of dates with you guys, seeing where God takes you guys' marriage, so love you guys. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say that uh, I feel very privileged to, oh, I need to talk louder? Okay. Um, I feel a privilege, it's a, been a privilege to um, say that you were one of my roommates. Uh, it's amazing how, how God works things out. And you know, you're, Stephen, you and Kelly getting married, um, your family's uniting is, um, again, it's amazing how God works things out. Uh, I want to encourage you to don't, to not take that for granted, to, to do your best to understand the, just the, the amazing way God works. Um, I want to encourage you uh, to continue to enjoy Kelly's amazing lasagna. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, I like to see you back on Rob on that lasagna because I have been to Italy and it is pretty good lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Stephen definitely loves it as well oh, yeah. <laughs> and that's actually probably my favorite part about the three of us i mean we go way back steven and i all the way back to diapers yeah <laughs> kelly and i all the way back to a shopping trip that we decided to take together to encourage each other she was newly baptized we were just trying to become better friends we hit it off that day and we've seriously been inseparable ever since and um, it's just totally God that brought us together, and especially at just at the right time. And to see you, Kelly, just 
surrender everything and then be so blessed by it, by this relationship with Stephen. I have been a part of it from the very beginning, from the first time that you guys even had feelings for each other, I was there, and um, when he finally asked you out, I was there, and when he was deciding that he was like, it's the time to propose to Kelly, and he called me in California, and I was like, well, yeah, buy that ring. <laughs> I'm a girl, of course I want you to do it, like, let's go. <laughs> and um, it's just been the, the most fun adventure ever to be best friends with both of you guys, and our cooking adventures, like always feeding Steven, we're always like, what can we make Steven tonight? And he's always just like, whatever you want, I'm just ready to eat. And we have the best like fellowship, just the three of us, and having that quality time and being our own kind of little family, you know, whenever we can finally all come together, because I'm off doing my own thing, and that's the other thing, Kelly, that I just am so grateful for, is no matter where I am, where you are, what we're going through, what is busy, what's not, what's good, what's not, we, we've just stuck together, and we've been so close, and we've helped each other, we've learned from each other, we've grown from each other, we're both here in this moment that we saw, you know, six years ago as, you know, teens, we were saying, when is this going to happen, and what's our wedding going to be like, and, you know, and it's here, and it's at the right time, and it's done the exactly perfectly righteous way and it's just so encouraging for me to be a part of it and just knowing that this is only another step that I've been with you guys you know we've, we've taken so many steps and now we're here and we're there's even more steps to come like I'm already seeing your kids and my kids and you know I don't even have a boyfriend that's fine I know there's gonna be kids and they'll be the same. <laughs> I just know that, I mean, we're going to be family for life through God and through our love for each other. And um, even this moment, we'll look back on this someday and just remember just how much you guys love each other. I know it's just going to continue to grow. And that love is not going anywhere. It's so evident. And it's just so pure and so wonderful. And I love you guys very much. Thanks. <laughs> Boy, uh, I've been crying since what? <laughs> Whenever the music started, I was crying. Um, I just wanted to thank every one of you here uh, to come and uh, help Steve and Kelly and, and all of us here. We're, I think every one of you guys here, there's a special reason why you're here, and I love you all very much, especially those that came from far away. I really appreciate you, the effort to come all the way out here. But um, as everyone was sharing, especially Veronica, uh, you took me back. Uh, because I was just thinking, isn't God wonderful how he just puts us all together? And if you get to stay in one place very long, that's a huge blessing. Because then you get to see people coming in and out of your life. You know, like Mark came in into our life and he left, but he's still part of our life. He's in Nashville now. But, um, but what great memories I have of... Two little boys <laughs> in, in trouble. <laughs> and I remember Veronica Merrick almost killing that poor baby. What? <laughs> I used to babysit her, and it took me years to tell her mom about what I did to Veronica one time. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> Rolling down the stairs. Oh, my God. Um, we had a two story house in Mesquite, and I babysat her in. Um, and she was in one of those ro uh, those stroller things and the upstairs. Walkers. A walker. A walker, yeah, upstairs. And Veronica is like everywhere all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that for one minute. And the next thing I know, I'm like, and our stairs went down this way. They they took a corner. That that baby <laughs> down those stairs and that walker, boom, boom, boom. And then it turned and went boom, 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 boom. And it flipped over. That's what it said. But you know what? 
Y'all were instrumental. Y'all were. Y'all, it was key that you saw that teens can be real Christians and not like the world. Thank you. Um, the Bible boys. <laughs> All the adventures we've had. Oh my gosh. And Kayla and Nancy and Travis. Those are what life is about. So I really appreciate all of y'all being here and uh, participating with us and getting to celebrate Stephen and Kelly. And I'm so thankful for Kelly. What a beautiful, beautiful wife you chose. And all those prayers are answered. And it's just very surreal. One day, every one of you will be in this spot and you will realize this is just very surreal. When you pray for a long time for something, and I know Jeff and Diane have too. Thank you. I remember specifically praying for you, Kelly, for years. (laughs) Before we knew you. Before we knew you. Yeah, just, just praying. You know, God, keep her safe. And help her become a Christian today, whatever she's doing. Mm-hmm. And praying for those people that were around you to help you. And praying for her family to know how to help you be a Christian. So that you can help my son go to heaven one day. I'm so grateful. So I'm just I'm just really, really <laughs> sappy. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen wasn't as intimidated about the fear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, good thing. <laughs> That's love right there. You really love her. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, you know, you, you think about a moment like this and you don't ever think it's going to come sometimes or that it's going to come as fast as it has. And um, I know for, for me and Diane, you know, we love all of our children. I mean, it's just, and especially with Kelly, um, uh, seeing her going to be married now, um, it means a lot to us. Uh, but also means a lot because it is Stephen. And, uh, you know, I want to let you know that, you know, we trust you. I mean, I trust you and my daughter. <laughs> but you know, I know you're gonna take care of her, and uh, I'm just proud of you for how you guys have had your relationship and how you put God first. And uh, that's gonna be the most important thing for you guys through your whole marriage. You're gonna have to remember you're always gonna put God first. You guys put God first. You know, there's nothing you guys can't do. You're always going to stay together. So uh, I just want to say I love you guys. I know you're going to have a great marriage. And uh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. <coughs> and uh, I think it's somebody else who gets my jokes now. You know? <laughs> 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 I just can't do it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly gets me pretty good on my jokes, so I just fix them up really quick. So I'm like, those pretty good too. So I'm like, you more, I guess. But, uh, but we're looking forward to it. I just want to let you guys know I love both of you guys a lot, and uh, I just have the, you know, the utmost hope of how your marriage is going to go. And I know someday, you know, you'll be like my mom and dad. Sure. Know, Fifty-five Fifty years of marriage. Sure. And, uh, you know, it can't work. You know, they got married when they were in their teens. You know, as long as you keep God first, we see what happens. Mm-hmm. So uh, I love you guys, and uh, look forward to seeing what God's going to do in your lives. Thanks, Jeff. <laughs>
I'm staying in this little corner. Um, well, I think you're two of my best friends. Um, and both of you are my best friends. And um, I'm really excited. Um, I'm so glad that I moved here this past year and I've gotten to live with Kelly and to um, live with Steven. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> live with time. everyone. <laughs> um, but um, just to be able to, um, to hang out with you guys and become better friends. And I mean, even through everything that's <coughs> happened this past year with um, seeing Steven change, just like, you know, when he got sick and how he's become, he stepped up, you know, and he's ready to, you know, deal with the insurance people and <laughs> all that other stuff that comes with it um, yeah. because he knows that you um, that you're number one like when I heard him talking on the phone to you today and he said that um, that your health is first so that you got to get the insurance thing taken care of because that's before the wedding that's what he wants he wants you he doesn't necessarily just want the big party and, you know all that um, but he wants you to be healthy and to put you first um, so I'm really excited and um, Yeah. Well, I'll share with you guys real quick. Definitely, I, I got a chance to share with uh, Stephen the other night as well at the groom party, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I think the thing I shared with him is uh, don't take things personally. You know, <laughs> I, think I shared a scripture with him in Proverbs that says, It's the man's glory to overlook an offense. And I think you know, that's, that, would, that would be my advice to you guys is you know, overlook an offense. You know, when you live together, you're going to offend each other once in a while. But, you know, just try and overlook it and don't take it personally. And have a lot of fun. Uh, you guys are a lot of fun. I mean, we really appreciate having the time to go with you guys in Colorado and, and spend time together and ski and look forward to more of that. And I just look forward to seeing what God does in your life. Um, definitely, I'm proud of both of you. Uh, you guys are both, uh, like everybody said, a great example. And I, I just love you guys and your hearts and love, love to see you guys together. And, and I think you guys do have a lot of fun, and I just encourage you to keep, you know, keep having a lot of fun together, and uh, enjoy, enjoy your relationship with each other. Amen. Love you. Amen. Well, we're going to have the fathers give a toast, but I think they already have. <laughs> and so I think it's only appropriate for us all to raise a glass. All right. All right. And I think there's a reason God compares heaven to a wedding banquet. All right. Because I think that's what heaven's about. It's being with the ones you love. Yeah. It's remembering all the wonderful memories and all the hope of being with God and with each other. So, to our couple, Stephen Kelly. Cheers. 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 Thank you, Derek. You're welcome. <laughs> I knew you couldn't go for that again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if uh, you guys want any more lasagna, or <laughs> salad, or whatever, you're welcome to. And stay fellowship as long as you want. I think there's still dessert over there, so help yourself. <laughs> Kelly, will we get some of your lasagna? <laughs> uh, really amazing. <laughs> Excited and anxious, not nervous though. So we'll see how it goes. Marcos, go <laughs> away. Uh, definitely encouraging. Very encouraging. Anxious. Anxious and excited. Anxious and excited. Hug the bed up, and I'm gonna play my Call of Duty and turn it up loud and uh, kick out, maybe have root beer. <laughs> That's what I'm doing tonight. Wow, you've got big plans. Maybe go in the hot tub. No, I was just gonna go in the hot tub. <laughs> Try to. I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen very much. Danny will let you play Call of Duty. 
I'm so jittery. <laughs> I cannot see from where I'm standing. My friends have passed out on the landing. Goodbye. Yes, one too many. Left us behind. Now we can end it with that. Options on the end. Didn't show up and